Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Whatever time y'all are tuning in, I certainly appreciate y'all are here. This morning, guys, I'm just enjoying my coffee, watching some of my favorite bands on YouTube. Led Zeppelin is one of my all-time favorite bands. You can see here they're old, but they can still jam. I really like them. Uh, I also watch a bunch of uh, knife channels, too, as well on, on YouTube, enjoying my coffee. I, I want to uh, read you a little sticker swap real quick, guys. I've received this from uh, Michael Hound, all the way from Flat Rock, Alabama. He sent me uh, $5 for a gift to use for a purchase. Here it is right here. $5. And he says, hey, Knife Doctor. I would love to have one of your stickers or patches. If you have any extra, please send by this stamp self envelope. If not, thanks anyway. Also, there's a gift enclosed to use for a small purchase on one of your knife hunts. Thanks for a great year. Hoping for many, many more to come. Mikey. <clears throat> Very cool. And he also sent this card right here. Um, it says, congratulations. Every so often the right thing happens to the right person for the right reason. So happy for you. Thanks again. For, and congrats on a year of a great YouTube channel. Mikey. Pretty cool. Well, Michael, thank you, buddy. I appreciate this. I appreciate the gift of five bucks. I've already sent you a uh, some stickers. They went off out yesterday, and I'm gonna be getting some more stickers out uh, today. Uh, can't wait to uh, get that done. I've, I've been uh, putting it off, not because I wanted to, it's just because I just ain't had enough time. I had to put off uh, painting here yesterday because I had to get the grass cut. I have about, uh, we, we have about six acres to cut here that we maintain, so. Had to jump on that yesterday, get a lot of sticks up and stuff like that. So, but now we gotta get back to painting and we're gonna get some more stickers off uh, today. I also want to show you, I had a, a, a pretty cool visit yesterday from the world famous Michael Hale. He won uh, the knife, as you know, he named the, the bear Cutter. Uh, he picked the name and I, I, as promised, I gave him a knife, it's a USA made. You'll be uh, very surprised what what it is. Uh, I've never seen one before. I had to order it, and I gave it to him. So he will. Uh, I'll show you the visit, and I also show you, show you the knife that I, I I gave to him. And also, we're going to be making a, a trip to Academy Sports to pick up my order. And I'm going to also show you the knives that I got in. Okay, I got seven in yet yesterday. We're going to be going over those. There's only two different kinds though. I have six of one and one of the other, but uh, and I'll show you the knife that I went and picked up yesterday. And also, we're gonna be repairing a tip of a spider coat that uh, it's got a bro broken tip. It belongs to my cousin, so we're gonna uh, fix that in the knife shop. So anyway, guys, thank y'all for tuning in today, and I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, guys, we got the world famous. Michael Hill here, and uh, he's the one that named the little bear Cutter, and I got his knife right here. I'm, I'm giving him. I want him to open it up. See, it's made in the USA. Ontario knife. It's pretty cool. It's an old timer. Old hickory. Yeah, yeah. Old hickory, I'm sorry. Ain't that cool? It was made in New York up there. Just here, here, let's see it real quick. That's nice, Mr. Kevin. I appreciate it. See right there. But that's for him coming up with the name that I absolutely love, Cutter, for my little bear. So what? So Mr. Hale is going to be at the uh, knife show. So what are you going to be having there? I'm going to have a bunch of knives that you some of the ones you've been cleaning, most of the ones you've been cleaning uh -huh. over here. Uh -huh. 
I'm gonna have some silver coins and just different stuff like that. The, the Zippos? If I can find some, okay. most of them I give to you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I have a problem. Well, well, I, I appreciate it, buddy. I appreciate you, you, you naming the bear and everything. And uh, but he gave me this stuff here. He, he gave me. Uh, he bought an. Went to an estate sale, right? Yes. And uh, he brought me this stuff o over, and that's going to be going in the eight by ten frame, right there. And he brought me some catalogs, some old uh, catalogs. That right there is a ninety nine. I'm going to frame that and put that on the wall. But he just brought me several, several. The catalogs of case and like right here, check that old Camillus out right right there. That's a Leif Erikson Viking Trapper. Man, I would love to find that. Made by Camillus. That was uh, back in the late '80s and on the way up till when they they went actually went out of business. They were using that tank stamp. But that's a beautiful knife. Wish I could come across that. But here's some of the other stuff that he uh, he brought brought me. See the hobo right there. That's pretty cool, ain't it? I love it, man. I appreciate it, Mike. Thank you. And I just want to thank you for coming up with that name. You know, I love the King Cutter name, and he just come up with that last name and uh, for, for his first name, Cutter. And I absolutely love that. So I want to appreciate it again, buddy. Mr. Kevin, I appreciate you. Thank you. Right. Hey, guys, I'm here at Academy Sports. I ordered a knife the other day. It's a, uh, it's a cadet. It's got aluminum handles they call it uh a lox and i only gave you about 20 bucks for it. it's regular about 45 so i'm gonna go in here and pick up the order and look at the other knife that they got hey how you doing sir where do i go to pick up an order a knife mm. I have to pick up a store pickup. I see right there. Yeah, I call them and come up here. Alright, alright. We thank you, buddy. You need my ID or anything? Alright, buddy, we thank you, buddy. Yeah, picked up the water and we're headed back over to back where the knives are at. We're gonna see if there's anything else on clearance while we're here. You never know. We'll look at what kind of knives that Academy Sports carries. Here's the knives right here. Gerber. Saw. Some Kershaw's. Nice looking knife right there. MMP. I love it. Right there. Wish this one was made in the USA. I know it's made in China. I love that blade right there. Sheep foot blade. Some book. Book one twelve slim. Thirty bucks. Victoria knife right here. They got a pocket sharp, wood sharp. Check that, check that thing out, golly. Very cool. Spitfire, I heard they were on sale. Now that's a mini Spitfire, look, 726. It's not a bad price. Online. That book is, uh, I think, about 40. That is a good price for the mini Spitfire. They got a good selection of knives, I really do. Nice uh, multi tool right there. I like that one. Check that one out with the handles. Made in USA right there. Very cool. 80 bucks. Hoorah. Okay, looks like this is gonna be the only knife we get today from Academy. That's okay. 
and an Alux Cadet for 20 bucks. So goodbye. Also got them other uh, Victoria Knox SD Classics in the mail. We'll be going over those too when we get back home. So uh, a bunch of knives from Lake Academy. Now we're off to uh, Big City, Alabama. We're in Columbus right now. We're buying a display cabinet for my knife shop. Okay guys, we're fixing to go over the knives that I uh, bought at Academy Sports. So open everything up with my Para 3 Spyderco. Absolutely love it. I thought it would be too small, but actually it's just right for the hand. And it's just right to carry. The Spyderco 2, the Para, the Para Military 2 Spyderco, it's great too. Uh, I don't have an issue with carrying that at all. I carried it for, I know, two months. Uh, but I think I like this one better because it's shorter. And I just like the blade uh, length and the blade shape. The pair of Military 2 has a long, longer, narrower blade, but this is more thick or it's wider, I should say, all the way down. So I really like this knife here. I really do. And I love the camo that it has the camo handles i love it i really do love the 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 lanyard hole and it also you can put the uh pocket clip in all four corners love it. really do great knife guys super sharp man it's super sharp all right let's uh open these knives up this is the, the first one guys i gave 20 bucks for this one and i'm, I'm lucky I ordered it off a uh, line. A subscriber sent me an email saying that they have knives on clearance, Victoria Knox. So I immediately went over there and I was able to get the last one of these. This is a cadet, Alox, Victoria Knox knife. You see they had 29 on it, but I got it for 20 bucks. And they're usually about 45. Great, great knives, they really are. Beautiful knife too. It's perfect for EDC. It's got everything you'd need. It's got your main blade, little flat tip screwdriver, can opener, bottle opener, big flat tip screwdriver, and it's got a fingernail cleaner and file and a main blade, and it's tough as nails on the outside. Love it, really do. Now this one here, I'm probably gonna keep this this one because I don't have this 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 color. I thought it was pretty cool. The color is orange. Ain't that awesome? This is a little SD Classic. It's got your main blade, uh, your fingernail file, and a little little flat tip screwdriver. Again, the difference between a, a Victoria Knox Classic and a Victoria Knox SD Classic is that little screwdriver right, right there on the... A uh, regular classic has a point, but the SD, which stands for screwdriver, if they put a little tip there, and you can still use it to clean your, your fingernails, no problem, but it's got your uh, scissors or shears, and then it's got your uh, tweezers, which are the best in the business, and toothpick. This is a great little EDC knife to put on your keychain and stuff like that. I love it, I really do. And uh, the other ones, guys, oh yeah, only gave ten dollars and forty eight cents for this. Ten dollars and forty eight cents. They're regular about twenty one to twenty three bucks. Pretty cool. And these here, I got the last six in the the, the warehouse. As far as them, uh, I don't know if they just feed the the Columbus area. I really don't know. All I know is I got the last six online when I ordered. I couldn't pass it up, guys. And this color is green. Ain't that cool? But I've got six. Six of them. Ain't that cool? <laughs> That's awesome. And it's, it's the same thing as uh, the orange one. You know, it's just got your same ones. I only gave $10.48 a piece. But you got your scissors, everything. It's a little SD classic, just like I went went over on the orange one. But I'm gonna give uh, 
Mr. Glenn one, and I'm gonna keep one, and I'm also gonna be giving the other four away. So I love giving knives away, I really do. But uh, it's a great, great find, great find. Love it, right here. So this is 20 bucks, these are $10 a piece. So right here, you got 40 bucks and three great knives. Sure do. And uh, I only gave 96 for all of them. So that's not too bad at all. It's a great, great find. It really was. Anyway guys, now we're fixing to uh, go over there and repair the Spyderco. And the Spyderco, I'll show it to you real quick. It is right there. This is a pretty old. It's probably from the 90s, I'm, I'm guessing. But uh, it's my cousin's and she had lost it one time, but somebody she knew real well called her and uh, they said, I think I got something that belongs to you. She had, had lost it for about a year or two. She's even got her, uh, her name right here. Her dad put that in there, my cousin. That's what he called her. And that's her phone number to their old house that they used to live up in at, at Atlanta or near Atlanta, like Stockbridge and stuff like that. But uh, you see, it's got a broken tip right there. And we're going to repair that. We're going to maintain this grind right here. I'm going to try to. I'm going to go from that corner, the, the corner of that grind right there, down to this, this corner right here. So it's going to be a... a Sudden drop, but I don't want to mess with that grind right there. It's going to be a good looking knife, and we're going to try to polish it up. We're going to take the clip off and, and polish everything up and make it shine real good for her. It's a great knife. Great knife for her. Okay, guys, here it is up close. We're going to take it from this point right here all the way up to that grind right there. It's going to be like a very sharp turn but we're gonna to try to round it as much as we can right down through there. But it's a great knife, it really is. We're gonna sharpen it up for you. You see it's, it's got a little bit of blade right here and we're gonna sharpen that. But it used to be about that long, if you can, can picture it. It, had, it used to have a good little blade right here. But we're gonna sharpen that up and then we're gonna sharpen the serrated part too for, but it's a great little knife, I'm gonna try to See if this screwdriver will work. All right. That way we can clean it up now. You right. Not much.
Well, here it is, guys, the Spyderco. They call it the Harpy Claw. If you can tell, it's like a claw. This has ATS 55 stainless steel. And it is a beautiful, beautiful knife. It turned out really good. I put her leather lanyard back there. She'll love that. But uh, that tip, that's about the best I can do on that tip, y'all. I want to keep that little point with that grind the way it came down. And I had to come straight down almost. But it turned out really good. It really did. That thing is sharp. Man, it's sharp. Mm. But uh, I think she, she'll be pleased. But again, her dad gave her this years ago. Put Country Girl engraved it in there and put their phone number where they used to live up in Stockbridge, Georgia. Around Stockbridge. And uh, it's just a beautiful old knife. I believe this was probably 80s or 90s, I, I would say. Um, she's about 10 years younger than me. So it's probably in the 90s. Cause her, I, I think she's born in 80. But or 80, 81, I can't remember. But uh, it's a great knife that her daddy gave her. She lost it for about a year or two. And then uh, someone called her and gave it back to her. Ain't that cool? But it turned out really good. I know she's going to be proud, but Rebecca is my cousin. She's the one that owns Dirt Road Dreams Mercantile, and she's the one that does my hats, and she's going to have hats and t-shirts at the knife show on November 16th, so I can't wait for y'all to meet her. She's a real sweet girl. A really, real sweet girl. Lovely kids. Uh, but I know she's going to be well pleased with this. Again, guys, y'all don't forget, I'm going to be revealing the, uh, the exclusive knife made by Baron Sons for the knife show on November 16th. They'll be only available at the Blade Show. So I'll be revealing that to you hopefully uh, sometime this week. If not, it'll be the first of next week. I haven't got a note notification that they've shipped yet, but I know they... Uh, laser engraved them the other day so this should be coming real soon well guys thank y'all for tuning in today i want to say god bless y'all until we meet again guys y'all be like a good night stay sharp beautiful little sunrise this morning that's a good sign we're gonna find some good knives sun's just peeking as they hit the road Hunting for the steel that's waiting to be honed Roaming from the city to the countryside Looking for the blades that others left behind His hands are ready, his vision sharp and clear For the knife doctor every find is dear in a dusty stall, he spots the blade, yeah Rusting stories, edges frayed, yeah In his hands, the seal's reborn On the road at the crack of dawn He's the knife doctor With an edge so true Saving lives with them old knives Making them just like new